Hello everyone. Um, today is Thursday the 24th. It is officially, um, I want to get that glare off, <laughs> officially the um, first full day and a half a day of uh, since the procedure. Um, it is about, what time is it? It's about 10 o'clock. Well, 9.30 actually. It's 9.30. And I am going to be taking my 10 p.m. meds soon. Um, I did want to give a morning update, but that was not possible. Last night and up until about two hours ago, hour and a half ago, it was excruciating. Um, last night, I could not sleep. I was tossing and turning. Um, I mean, the cramping was so massive, it just would not go away. And for whatever reason, <laughs> I only called out of work for the 23rd, my actual procedure day. And I know that they tell you to not go back to work um, for about a week, two weeks or something like that. But since we are in COVID and since I do work from home, I was like, well, you know, I'll take my pain meds, just work from my laptop in the bed on my lap. I should be fine. No. Nope. Um, this morning, I mean, just could not move. The pain was horrible. I was so drowsy. It was just, it was just bad. It was so bad that, um, I actually had to call the doctor and have them put in my prescription for the Oxycontin. Because this is the list of prescriptions. And as far as pain reliever, they give you a Percocet, uh, 325 milligram um, of Percocet. And I guess that's supposed to relieve some pain. No. Um, the suppository actually for anti-nausea and vomiting, that thing was a lifesaver last night. I mean, it, it, um, it just got you really calm and it helped with some pain. That thing was a lifesaver. The Percocet doesn't seem to be doing anything. I've been taking them one at a time. It's probably best to take two at a time. Um, but even with two at a time, I was still in so much pain. So I called the doctor. They put in my prescription for Oxycontin. This was not covered by my insurance. My insurance did not cover this. So it was $51, which isn't bad. Um, they're 10 milligram Oxycontin, and I believe it's 10 of them. So 10, 10 milligram. And uh, I took one of those a couple of hours ago. So that was possibly why I am feeling better right now because I'm on Oxycontin and Percocet. Damn! Um, so for right now, I'm feeling, I'm feeling fine. Uh, it's a little p a pressure, a little pain, but nothing unbearable. Hopefully, I'm feeling like this tomorrow so I can work. And um, hopefully, it just gets better um, throughout the weekend and everything. But last night and all today until, up until like 5 o'clock, oh, it was bad. <laughs> I wouldn't wish it on anybody. But it's a part of the process. Those are the things that they forewarned us about. Um, with this procedure, it's everywhere. The nausea, the bad cramping, all of that, it's known. But to actually feel it, totally different story. Um, I haven't had an appetite. Um, I was trying to get down some slices of apple earlier today. That completely made me nauseous. Um, and I haven't been drinking as many fluids as I, as I need to, but I just haven't had an appetite for anything but I'm starting to do better with my fluids um, and everything. So I will give an update on tomorrow, on Friday, and um, let y'all know how that morning went. But so far, I feel a little better. Well, a lot better than last night and earlier today. So I will give you all an update tomorrow. Hope that this has been helpful so far. And leave some comments down below and I can come back again and give you more information about the process or side effects or anything like that that you might be interested in um until then i'm very tired and i'm calling a night peace